Democratic gubernatorial debate is our big story tonight, and all three candidates were on stage in Owings Mills tonight. And has and has has been the pattern. Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown faced more tough questions about the state's badly flawed health care exchange website. 11 News reporter George Lettis is live in Owings Mills tonight with the highlights. George. Well, Stan, for most of the night, three things were clear. Doug Gansler was in attack mode, Anthony Brown was in defense mode, and Heather Mazier stayed neutral. The only way that we're going to make. Once again, Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown could not escape an ongoing debate issue Maryland's troubled health care exchange rollout. Brown was Governor O'Malley's point person on the rollout that ended with the state switching to Connecticut's version. Doug Gansler quickly went on the attack, calling the health exchange the difference in this election. We're 45th in the country in enrolling people into health care. And he'll get up here and spin the numbers and he'll take the, the Medicaid automatic rollovers and say, well, we've, we've gotten people health care. The fact of the matter is we have hundreds of thousands of people without health care in Maryland. Moderator Jeff Salkin of Maryland Public Television pressed Brown to further explain his exact role in reorganizing leadership and fixing the website glitches. I was chair of the Health Reform Coordinating Council when we got the information that we did. And I didn't get it till after October 1st because I wasn't on the health reform, uh, the health exchange where the information was had. As soon as we got the information, then we brought the exchange in and said, okay, we've got some things need, that you need to do. On an audience question about their top priorities once they arrive in the governor's mansion, Gansler vowed to lessen the influence of lobbyists in Annapolis, and that led him to an attack on Brown's campaign staff. They're contributing all this money to the lieutenant governor. While he was supposed to be running the Affordable Care Act, he raised almost a million dollars. He hired a Democrat and a Republican lobbyists, health care lobbyists, to raise all this money from health care companies. Untrue on, on the uh, assertions about lobbyists, and, you know, we all file our campaign finance reports, and I invite you to look at that. As she usually does in these debates, Delegate Heather Mazier stayed out of the fray and focused on her platforms of marijuana legalization and income equality. I want to make sure, as I mentioned in my opening statement, that we get to a living wage, not just 10 10 an hour, which, by the way, the next governor will be running for re election before it gets to 10 10 an hour, and she's not going to stand for that. Now, tonight's audience was full of undecided voters. I spoke to one of them afterwards, and he said he is still undecided, and polls indicate he is very much not alone in that. Now, hours earlier on this same stage in Owings Mills, the Republicans debated they all want to, el to eliminate some taxes, cut others. Uh, they say wasteful spending must go to accomplish that. What we'll do is we'll start with the departments and say, lower your budget by 3%. Now, can each of you live off three cents uh, less than a dollar? Most likely you can. E this, this, the government can. I'm asking for independent audits of all departments and agencies. Department of Legislative Services is willing to help with that. They're excited about it. And whenever I hear someone talk about, well, you know, you're going to cut essential services. No, we don't have to. If we simply control the growth, instead of growing, for example, at five and a half, six percent like we did this year at $2.3 billion and only grow at 2 percent, we'll save ourselves $1.3 billion, uh, $1 billion in the first year. The Democrats are proposing billions of new spending without saying how to pay for it. Some Republicans are saying let's eliminate all the taxes without saying what they're going to cut. We have a plan that's taking a look at both sides of the equation. Now, this Republican debate will air in its entirety Friday night at 7 o'clock right here on WBAL-TV. We're live in Owings Mills, George Lettuce, WBAL-TV 11 News.